Hi, as we near the end, um, we're going to move to the conservatism and the end of the Cold War. So from 1932 to 1980, Congress and the executive branch had underwent a radical liberal transformation. 32 of the 48 years stand down around the White House. And FDR and the New Deal increased the size of the federal government. Harry Truman's Fair Deal, JFK's New Frontier, and LBG's Great Society further increased the non governmental programs. 1980s saw a conservative movement in America. Years of social reform and liberal propaganda were suddenly attacked by new conservatism in America. Issues such as affirmative action, separation of church and state, fall under this attack. Conservatives saw affirmative action as a form of reverse discrimination and separation of church and state as the key factor in apparent loss of traditional values. The Conservative Coalition. Um, the informal alliance of business leaders, middle class voters, disaffected Democrats and Christian groups, the moral majority. Religious groups played an important role in this movement. Evangelical Christians and television preachers such as Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson. These groups condemn liberal views and behavioral. They argue for uh, restoration of traditional morals and values. They reduce the nation's high divorce rates, lower the number of births out of wedlock, and encourage individual responsibility. They raise money to support candidates. In the election of 1980, pitted Gerald Ford and uh, Ronald Reagan. Um, Reagan chose Bush as his running mate. Democrat nominee Jimmy Carter chose uh, Vice President Walter Mondale. And Reagan was born in Illinois. He became a Hollywood actor in 1937, becoming the president of the Screen Actors Guild. Reagan was originally a New Deal Democrat, but in the 1950s he aligned himself more with the Republican Party. Reagan campaigned for GOP candidate Barry Goldwater during the 1964 presidential election, making his nominating speech there. Um, Reagan's acting career helped him in the public spotlight. Poor economy and several conservative issues such as the Supreme Court decision on abortion, pornography, prayer in public, helped Reagan appeal to voters. Reagan was great at one-liners such as the recession is yours when your neighbor loses a job, depression is when you lose yours, and recovery is when Jimmy Carter loses his. Reagan is called a great communicator for his ability to convey his ideas in simple, clear understanding the average voter could understand. Only 52.6 American voters went to the polls. Ronald Reagan won by a very narrow majority, 51% of the vote, 44 million. Despite the small majority, Reagan's support was spread among the whole country, allowing to win their electoral vote in a landslide. It looked overwhelmingly. One of the few cards won was his home state. To deal with the economic problems, President Reagan introduced a new package of policies that we dubbed Reaganomics. These policies consisted of three parts. Budget cuts, tax cuts, increased defense spending. As soon as he took over, he worked to reduce the size and influence of the federal government. Reaganomics. Um, President Reagan cut the budgets by 10% for er, mass urban trend, food stamps, um, welfare, Medicaid, school aid, and student loans were not touching such programs as Social Security. Medical, Medicare and veterans pensions leading to some controversy. Reaganomics were based on the theory of supply-side economics. The idea behind this theory was that if people paid fewer taxes, they would save more money to banks and could loan them the money to businesses, which could invest the money and resources to improve productivity. Um, despite budget cuts, President Reagan increased defense spending. The most significant was authorizing development of a defense system. Democrats named it Star Wars after the famous George Lucas movie. This uh, system, although never proven to work, struck fear in the Soviet Union. If it did work, it would render billions of dollars of Soviet nuclear weapons useless. Mikhail Gorbachev lobbied the U.S. to stop work on the program in exchange for massive limitations on nuclear arms. The panic in the system, although never successfully developed, caused the Soviets as one of the reasons of the fall. Um, Reagan had an assassination attempt on him, actually. It was pretty complicated, where um, two months after taking office, someone, he was shot by a mentally unbalanced man by the name of John Hinckley. He was found out that his reasoning was to impress a young actress named Jodie Foster. At first, it was believed that Reagan had been shot, um, but shortly after his Speeding away in the limousine, they found he was shot, and he was rushed to the hospital. Despite the injury, he joked, honey, I forgot to duck, which was used by the famous blind Jack Dempsey in the 1920s. He later joked to the surgeon, saying, I hope you fellows are Republicans, and Reagan was able to fully recover, and his popularity grew. Um, his secretary, James Brady, was shot in the head from close range. Brady did recover, but he was permanently disabled, and McCarthy was shot in the chest, and he made a full recovery. And also... Um, District Columbia police officer was also shot by one of the six fired, and he would also make a full recovery. The first year of Reagan's presidency, the country slipped in the worst depression in the Great Depression. Um, the country went on a spending spree by tax cuts, declining interest rates, and lower inflation. Trickle down economics. This is a pivotal part of Reagan, is by lowering income taxes on people and businesses. The people who saved the most money were the ones that had the most. The administration said these profits would trickle down 
to the middle class and eventually um, to the poor businesses and expanding and creating jobs as well. Reagan actually nearly doubled the national debt and the United States Supreme Court appointed three justices, all conservative. Um, in that time, you had Sandra Day O'Connor, the first ever Supreme Court justice, Anthony Scalia, and um, Anthony Kennedy, as well as nominated Judge William Rehnquist to be the Chief Justice. George Bush replaced William Brennan, uh, the retiring Justice William Brennan with David Souter, and President Bush later nominated Clarence Thomas to replace Thurgood Marshall on the court. During Thomas's nomination, uh, process contrary sprung up on a law professor accused of sexual harassment. Um, again, this is very similar to what we saw with the Brett Kavanaugh hearings. The election hearings last for several days before he was confirmed. These five appointments of the nine member court dramatically changed in a court that had been very liberal since FDR days. Part of his plan he to deregulate, uh, to reduce the size of the federal government, de deregulating the industry or cutting back federal regulation. Remove price controls on oil, eliminate federal health and safety inspections of nursing homes deregulated the savings and loan industry as well as the airline. It creates increased competition and lower prices for the consumer. He also cut the budget of the Environmental Protection Agency. Um, and the conservative tide in America had secured Reagan a large following. Business people, Southerners, Westerners, Reagan Democrats, and him and Bush ran against Walter. Mondale and Geraldine Ferraro. Ferraro was the first woman ever on a major ticket. Um, Reagan wins on Lions side, won everywhere but Minnesota. So Reagan had two overwhelming wins. Issues. Um, so there's many social issues of this time period. Good AIDS, pro-life versus pro-choice. In 1973, Roe Wade on verdict declared abortions were illegally legalized as protected by a women's right. Um, in July of 1989, the Supreme Court ruled in Webb versus reproductive health care services that states had the right to propose new restrictions on abortion. The people in favor became known as pro-choice and the people against abortion became known as pro-life. Drugs, crack and cocaine burst on the scene in the 80s. This was a highly addictive drug from South America and soon after taking office Reagan announced a war on drugs trying to stem the rising tide of abuse in America. And Reagan supported these moves. Um, he supported these moves and Nancy Reagan toured the country with this just in 1983 a federal commission uh, released a book as a, a report called Nation at Risk talking about how our education school system the debate sparked more recommended more homework longer school days and extended school year um, and again that we were falling behind and this eventually led to 2000 the no child left behind act later in the year 2000 we had inner city decay at this time period high employment um, Philadelphia, Chicago, Detroit, these cities were deteriorating. More people were going to the suburbs. And you had women's rights. After the Equal Rights Amendments failed, women's organizational rights became to push to get more elected. This led to Geraldine Ferrar to the vice president ticket. And the November elections um, saw an increase in Elizabeth Dole's name, Secretary of Transportation, and Margaret Heckler, Secretary of Health. So again, there's a lot of changes going on at this time period in the 1980s with a shift towards the conservative movement.